Colonel Willard R. McFarlane, a native of Ogden, Utah, distinguished himself by setting eight world time to climb records in a modified McDonnell Douglas F-15 air superiority fighter known as the Streak Eagle. McFarlane, a graduate of the United States Air Force Academy, was one of three pilots selected to participate in the record-breaking attempts at Grand Forks Air Force Base in North Dakota. Pilots in the time to climb attempt were required to take off and achieve a record altitude in as little time as possible. Colonel Mac McFarlane, a decorated combat veteran, flew a variety of aircraft in Southeast Asia during the Vietnam War and then spent time in England and Germany as an instructor in aerial combat techniques. In 1974, the Air Force awarded a contract to McDonnell Douglas to modify an early F-15A to try and break the time to climb record. All non-mission critical systems were removed from the aircraft to save weight, including flap and speed brake actuators, cannon and ammunition systems, radar and fire control, hydraulics and more. Everything possible was done to reduce weight, including leaving the aircraft unpainted. These steps resulted in a savings of approximately 1,800 pounds, giving the pilots a much lighter and faster aircraft in which to set the time to climb record. During the attempts to set the record, the aircraft was physically held on the runway while the pilot applied full power. Once the brakes were released, the pilot would fly the plane straight up, aiming for the stars. The first flight, piloted by Major Roger Smith, hit an altitude of three kilometers. For the next three attempts, McFarland took the controls. He achieved an altitude of six kilometers in just 39.33 seconds. On his second attempt, he took the Streak Eagle to an altitude of 9 kilometers in only 48.86 seconds. And in his final flight, McFarlane flew to the edge of the stratosphere, reaching 12 kilometers in just 59.38 seconds. When it was over, McFarlane had set eight world time to climb records in the Streak Eagle. For achieving these world records and proving the capabilities of the F-15, McFarlane and his fellow pilots were awarded the prestigious McKay Trophy, given annually by the U.S. Air Force for the most meritorious flight of the year. Following his distinguished 30-year Air Force career, Colonel Mac McFarlane went on to work for McDonnell Douglas as Program Director for Hypersonic Applications. He is remembered today not only for his record-breaking flights, but also for his love of aviation and service to his country.